<laughs> the, the the water doesn't percolate in a perc it in a percolates. It's Don't time for the percolator. It's, it's time, time for the percolator. <laughs> Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday morning. I just got back from a yard sale and I got some stuff. Well, multiple yard sales. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is your first time here. My name is Tim. This is Over the Years. I am a full-time reseller on six platforms. That's eBay, Etsy, Macari, Poshmark, Depop, and Grailed. And so I am about to get married and we're about ready to take pictures tomorrow. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but... It'll probably come out tonight. So tomorrow, and I have to go get a haircut. So I only had a very limited amount of time to do yard sales today. And a beard cut. Yes, and a beard cut. Okay. So there was a community yard sale by my mom, by Ma Duke's house. My Duke's is behind the camera. Say what's up to everybody, Ma Duke's. Hey. So I went there and I grabbed some stuff. So let's go ahead and dive right in because I have to go get a haircut. All right. So first up, I'll just show you the free stuff. This was all, these were all free. These are these moment of moments of faith sculptures and they all had the boxes and i guess this one that's what it looks like and so this one right here sells for like 20 or 30 bucks i think so i got one i got the two three four of those all for free so that was automatically a win then i got this <gasps> little plush oh, for free that's cute <laughs> is that like that other smush no no it's not a squish mellow Oh. But um, it'll sell for like five, ten bucks. But it was free, so um, then that and right next to that was another yard sale that kind of broke the ice. Because the first yard sale I went to, I saw an Xbox, and I asked the lady, I said, "How much for the Xbox?" She said, hundred dollars." So oh. I was like, "Oh, this is not going to be a good day of yard selling." But I broke the ice with these ruby red Fenton glass lotus candle holders, Ooh, and it's a pair. Pretty. They're very pretty. So I was super stoked about those. And then what was next? The bundle or no? No, the bundle was actually the last thing I got. Then at one yard sale I got, you know what? I thought I had something else. Oh no. So I got these uranium glass etched uh, candlesticks. What I really like is that scroll on the side there. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Very pretty. And <laughs> then at the same yard sale I got this adorable tin oh that is the cutest I and like so uh marklin i believe made like toy train sets and like erector sets is it erector sets Don't erector sets <laughs> but the graphic on there is really awesome oh. and i think this actually was a tin for like parts for the train or the erector set so this will probably sell for somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks and the last thing I got that yard sale, I saw this and I wanted to, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not because I wasn't sure how old it was, but I, I looked at, I went back to the car, I looked it up and they do sell for about 20 to 30 bucks. So there's a like vitamin jar, like apo apothecary. Yeah. I said it right. Apothecary. <laughs> Correct. Uh, for like a drugstore. So that was a great deal there. Then... I got this piece of Northwood Carnival glass. Not the craziest piece, but it is. Uh, it was pretty cheap, and it does have the Northwood marking in there. Yeah. Now, sometimes you gotta be careful with those because sometimes they are fake. Uh, so I'll obviously have to do my research on that. <laughs> then I got this cute little Longer Burger basket. So I typically don't buy Longer Burger because Ma Dukes is the Longer Burger queen, and she has so much of it. But this was only a dollar, and these sort of like specialty baskets tend to do really well. And it has all the accessories with the bow, um, the handle, the handle, the, the plastic liner, the and plastic the protector, plastic protector, and linen liner, and the linen liner, and the charm, and the tie on, tie on. And let it be known that 
the founder of Longerberger Baskets and the granddaddy of them all, the wonderful Dave Longerberger, unfortunately had cancer and passed away on St. Patrick's Day, 1999. So this is a St. Patrick's Day basket from 1999, the year that Dave uh, passed. So, I mean, it was a good find for a dollar. Yeah, for a Longerberger aficionado, they're going to be very excited because that's a great little basket. <clears throat> and then... What else? So, oh, then I also got this Balik piece. And I, I these Balik pieces are really nice because they're like the applied on. And, you know, obviously I was very careful to, to see if there was anything damaged to like the flowers there. Hmm. Show them the old, the old stamp on the bottom. And then it has, I, I think this is an older stamp, but I'm not sure. Got to work on that. I got to double check the year on that. Yeah. But it's a nice piece in good condition. And what else? Okay, so then down to the crazy part. So, oh, first, there was this guy who was one a step ahead of me every yard sale today, and it was killing me. Was so he I old pulled, dude or young dude? Younger guy. Yeah. And so I went to the yard, this one yard sale. I saw him leaving to his truck, and I walked up, and I saw this GameCube game, like, just perched up in a tub like staring at me and like this game sells for like 60 bucks and i opened it up no Not, game no game i'm like excuse me sir do you have the game for this he was like oh no i don't the guy he just left here he just took the whole tub of video games i was like oh, you gotta be kidding me but if that guy was a true g he would have taken this too because just this case and manual by itself without the game will sell for like 30 bucks, if not 40. So I- Maybe he's a new to the- <laughs> And the guy the and the guy was like, I was like, how much for this? He was like, you want just that? I was like, yeah. He was like, how about a buck? I was like, all right, cool. So that was a perfect pickup. Now, the last part of the yard sale craziness. So I went to, this is the last yard sale I was able to go to. And so I picked up this, I picked up this teapot. The Blanco Double Spout Pitcher, the Beavis and Butthead Mug, the Boxing Gloves, and the Speed Bag. And I walked up just holding all of it like this. And I was like, so, I was wondering if you could make like a bundle deal. He was like, oh yeah, but I gotta tell you, the car case is gonna be 20 bucks. Five dollars, everything else is five dollars. I was like, five dollars a piece? He was like, no, all of it for five dollars. So twenty-five dollars for everything. I was like, I couldn't put this stuff down fast enough. So what I got was this teapot, which is and it is in great condition. It's got a little bit of uh flake Where? to the to the glaze right there. Um, but the inside is good shape. And this is a really like interesting shape. I had never seen this teapot before. And it's the Tricolator. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, I figured that, but you know, I had to put a little swag on it. You know, percolator. Tricolator. Yeah. Well, percolator. Tri tricolator. What did I say? Tricolator. You see, yeah, something like that. Because, like, you know, I thought like the maybe the water was trickling. No. <laughs> the, the the water doesn't percolate in a per it in a percolator. It percolates. Don't trickle. Percolator. It's time for the percolator. Okay. And it is made by Hall. It's stamped right there. So I should be able to get hopefully around 20 bucks for that teapot right there. And then this is something that you guys, if you're not familiar with, always pick these up. These double spouted pitchers. They were made by Blanco. There are other companies that make them. Kanawha glass, uh, West Virginia glass. And they come in all different colors. Some are older than others. Uh, this one might be a newer one. When I say newer, I mean like probably like 2000 um but this one should sell anywhere between 30 and 50 dollars mm, purple, purple 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 oh yeah it's gorgeous look beautiful purple really pretty okay and then whoa. Ooh. and then i got the beavis and butthead do america 1996 cornholio coffee mug this coffee mug will sell for 25 bucks so i mean like Already $25, $45, $75 on those three things. Then I got this 1940s, I believe. This is a Wilson uh, speed bag. Now, obviously, it's in a little bit of rough shape, and it doesn't it doesn't have uh, any, like, you know, 
air to it. And I don't know if you can fill it up, but it's a great decor piece. Um, should sell in this condition anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks. And then these are boxing gloves from the 1940s. They are the McGregor Goldsmith Golden Gloves, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. 10 ounce gloves. And they're in really good shape, actually, considering the age. Mm -hmm. And they should probably go for anywhere between, I'd say, 30 or 40 bucks. And then this bad boy. So, I, I, I saw the box and I opened the box. The box itself will probably sell for 15 bucks. And I opened the box and it was full of cars. Now, I am not an aficionado in matchbox or hot wheel cars i do know with the hot wheels you want to look for the red lines which means that they'll have uh red lines inside the inside the wheels if they're red lines but some of these cars are definitely older and i know this one right here this super bike is what what did i say it was 1977 so this one right here will probably sell for 20 bucks and so there's two layers of cars in here. I didn't look them all up individually. I'm sure some of them are probably only $5, $10. But like I said, some of them might be $20 cars. And then the case too. So, I mean, there could easily be $100 right here. So you're looking at like $100 in this. 20 for the teapot, that's $120. let us say 40 for the Blanco, that's $160. And then 25 for the mug, that's 185. And then the speed bag, let's say 20, that's 205. We'll say 30 for that's $235 from $25 buy and one yard sale. You mean 20, one community yard well, sale? Well, no, that was just from that one oh, yard oh, sale. Oh, you're kidding me. I didn't, count, I didn't count any of the other stuff. Oh. So I'd say we did pretty darn well this morning. Yeah. I mean, I barely, I, that was the most I spent in one place was the $25. All this this stuff was all free. One dollar, one dollar. I mean, I probably spent 50 bucks total, and we're looking at probably like over $300 worth of stuff. Mm. Like that. So it was a crazy good morning. Definitely super stoked. I got to make the uh, community art set before I go get my hair cut. Um, hopefully, I'm going to put out this video and another video coming up shortly. And don't forget, we are live Monday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live vintage sale. Don't forget, we have the preview at 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I think we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to thank I, you guys as always. Can I show them a cicada? I guess. Okay. Here I go. Should I stop it or just no, go? No, you want me to film you? You can film me. No, don't film me. My hair is sticking straight up like a weirdo. Come here, look. <laughs> you film the cicada. Don't let people see my awful garage. <laughs> let me see if there's a guy hanging out. Cicada! Oh, he's dead. So the cicadas are coming. Well, they're not coming. They're here. Is that one alive? I don't know. Don't tell! <laughs> Why don't you touch Jimmy, it? Jimmy, you... Look. Don't, I can't, okay. You can't say that. Okay, okay. Don't be silly. Look at that. He's so cute. He's not cute. I feel sorry for him. Everybody's like, cicadas. I step on him every chance I get. That's a dead one right now. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, that's... But that guy's okay. Hey, honey. Come on. Show him how you walk. Oh! oh! <laughs> oh! Stop it. What's wrong? Where did it go? Oh, He's my gosh. He's right here. He's right here. Come on, buddy. Stop, Mom. Okay. Flip him over. I can't reach my back. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let me flip him over. Come on, hon. Oop. There you go. Get, don't film me. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, oh, this guy just landed. Look at over this. the years history channel. Here, here you go. Look, here's, my, here's a really healthy looking one. Show his face. Get right up on his face. Okay, hey, okay. Honey. That's pretty crazy. There's like thousands of them all over the yard. This is a 17 year one. Hi, yes. Boo, so these cicadas only come in every 17 years. Well, there's some seven year ones. But yeah, this... these cicadas. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're outie. Thank you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed that cicada outtake.
Have a good one and stay classy, YouTube. Peace. Peace.